G'day guys, Shane here. Today what we're going to show you is how to take photos of that galactic core, that Milky Way, with an older iPhone. Let's get into it. You see, on older iPhones, you didn't have that night mode, and you certainly didn't have Pro Raw, so you had to use a different app. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you, say, three different apps. And there's a few around, but I'll show you three. I'm going to show you one that I have found to be, well, the duck's nuts as far as astrophotography on an iPhone goes without night mode. Now, when it comes to these apps, like any other sort of photo that we do with the night sky, you're going to need a tripod and you're going to need some pretty dark skies. Those two aren't really negotiable. You have to have them. First app we're going to look at is Nocturne app. Now, Nocturne app is dead set simple to use. You're going to put it on a tripod, push the button, it does heaps of photos and stacks them all together, just like what a pixel does. So that's a really good option if you've got really no idea how to do what we're doing here. This is the sort of result you're going to get from that. The downside of the Nocturne app is that, well, it's going to have that little logo down the bottom there, but it's going to take a pretty bloody good photo from any older generation iPhone of the night sky with that galactic core. Option number two is Nightcap app. With Nightcap app, it's uh, it's pretty bloody easy too. Not quite as easy. Sometimes you've got to manually focus, sometimes you don't need to. It'll just pick it up for you automatically. But you're going to go into there, you're going to hit that star button, go to star mode, hit the shutter, and it's going to take a photo for 15 seconds. It's going to do it like semi-automatic. The results are reasonably good. If you play around with Nightcap app a little bit more, you could do things like long exposure and then let it go for that period of time and then shut it down at 30 seconds and get a reasonably good photo. And that's always been my go-to when it comes to older iPhones trying to capture the Milky Way. But I found a better one. The third app that we're going to use here is what is becoming my favorite uh, iPhone photography app, and that is the Reflex app. And what we're going to use here is the Light Trails mode on Reflex. We're going to shoot Milky Way with that. It's not as easy as the other ones. The result's a bit better. I'll show you how to do it. You're going to go into the Long Exposure mode on Reflex. Once it's set up, you're going to turn it on, turn it to Light Trails mode. Once you're in Light Trails mode, go down to the settings. You're going to change the shutter speed to one second, and you're going to change the ISO all the way as high as it goes. That's going to vary from phone to phone that you have. Now, with the focusing, I use 0.78 on my iPhone. Uh, you don't necessarily have to get that. It might be a little bit either way. So you're going to take a photo if it's not quite sharp. Just adjust that a little bit, and uh, you're good to go. If you find that the phone that you have is creating some star trails in these photos, you can certainly make it a lot sharper by reducing uh, the, the length of time that you go. With that 30 seconds in light trails mode, you're going to bring that down to say 20 seconds, and you may even take a number of photos and stack them, and I've done a video about that, I'll link it up the top there. But Reflex app in light trails mode is going to get this pretty well. It's the only long exposure app that I've done so far that gets this Milky Way, the core, working in a photo. It's a bloody good job. There you have it, those three apps, they're really good apps, they do this sort of job reasonably well with the older iPhones because you don't have those night mode and pro raw and things like that. I'd love to see what you guys can do with your iPhone. Uh, head over there, we've got a good Facebook group over there, you can share your photos over there of what you've achieved with these apps that I'm showing you here tonight. Anyway guys, that's it for today, I'll catch you later.